Hello, family and friends. Welcome again to Miss Christine's Yoga Studio. My director, Miss Chloe, is right here next to me in her bed. She was on the mat about an hour ago sleeping. I had to pick her up and move her so I could do this video. And Miss Yogi is back there to help us with our class today. Okay. This is part two of our triangle pose video series. You remember last video was the beginner triangle pose and today is gonna to be the challenge triangle pose. Don't let that scare you. All this is, is we are going to go deeper into the triangle pose and we're gonna use our arms a little bit. So that's really the only difference. I just wanted to get you used to last week building a base with your feet and feeling yourself going side to side in neutral spine. That was really the important lesson from last week. So this week we have, it's gonna be the same uh, benefits. This is the hallmark of stretching this pose. Um, you stretch everywhere from your feet, your ankles, your legs, all the way through your torso, your shoulders, your back, even your neck. Specifically, your feet are going to dig into the ground. And as you dig your, dig your feet into the ground to build your base, both of them, your toes are gonna dig in and you, your, the arch of your foot will raise a little bit. And that really helps people with flat feet. So if you have that kind of problem, this may uh, give you a little bit of relief from that, building the base of the triangle. Also, we go back and forth, back and forth, and it does a lot of massaging of our internal digestive organs, so it aids in digestion, as well as massaging those lower back muscles that are often involved in sciatica. Won't cure sciatica, but it might give you some relief. Another thing about poses that you hold, and this is one that you will hold and do breathing in, is that it can wash away some emotional, mental baggage that you might be carrying around, such as uh, tension, restlessness, anxiety, even depression. So if you really mindfully do these poses, you're uh, in all in your alignment, you're doing your breathing, you can make yourself feel better, your soul exercise, okay? Let us get over to the mat and see what we can do. Move that out of the way. Come on over. You will notice that I have some blocks here and those can be used. I'll show you how to use those when we get down to our pose. Okay, let's do a wide stance mountain pose again, just like we did last time. Oh, I think that's in the way. Our toes are gonna be faced forward as long as, as well as our hips, like our headlights. Legs are straight, but not locked. Don't lock those knees. Tummy pulled in, tush tucked under. Our head is over our heart, is over our pelvis. Shoulders back and down, and the crown of our head is being pulled up to the heavens. There we go. Now, if you have shoulder problems, you may do this whole uh, triangle pose with your hands on your, on your hips. But if not, open up your wings. A new alignment you have to think about. Your fingertips must be in alignment with your shoulder and your fingertips should be in alignment with each other. I think they're kind of out of range of the camera. Sorry about that. That's a new alignment that you have to think about. This will also make you think about pulling your shoulders down and back. Now remember, when we do our tilt, we are gonna be tilting and keeping our alignment, our neutral spine in alignment. So we're gonna be side bending like that. Our butt will go that way and our head will go that way. Also, our arms are gonna be like airplane wings and are gonna stay in alignment. So, the next thing we're gonna do is pick up our right foot and rotate our toes to face the right wall. Notice I did not do that. I picked it up and I rotated my ankle so that my toes are pointing to the right wall, left toes still pointing forward, 
but my, but my headlights here, my hip headlights stayed forward. Now take a big inhale and exhale and come down. Your hip is gonna go that way, your head is gonna go that way. Do not collapse your shoulders, keep your shoulders back and down you go. Make sure that you do not grab your knee. If you cannot go below your knee, then hold on to the top of your knee, but try to reach below, just below your knee. You can use blocks for your hands. You could also use a chair as a stool, but make sure you keep your, your fingertips as close to in line as possible. Your shoulder is back and you're in neutral spine. Your palm can face forward or it can hold on to your shin, but not your knee. I think I already said that. Step two, rotate your neck and gaze up at your thumb. Inhale, exhale. Step three, inhale and move your arm over your head, keeping your shoulder and fingertips aligned. Inhale, exhale, and come up. Whoops. Toe back in facing forward. Let's rest for a minute. Inhale, exhale. Again, spread your wings. Make sure you're in alignment. And start moving down. Start rotating down in one line together. Hip going that way, head going that way. Oh, I forgot to move my foot. Move your foot, rotate your foot. So your left toes are pointing to the left wall. And down you come. Hold on below your knee or place your hand so that your palm is facing outward. Next step, take an inhale and gaze up to your thumb. This is a harder side for me. You'll always find that one side's harder than the other. Inhale, exhale and bring your arm over. This is your third step, over your head so that your fingertips point towards the left wall, just like your left toes. Inhale, exhale, and come back up. Now the important, the important parts of this are that you keep everything in alignment. Your neutral spine, your fingers to your shoulders, your fingers to your fingers. And also you wanna keep your knees over your toes. I don't mean you bend over your toes. I mean they're just in a line with your toes, not like that. You want them in a line with your toes. That's, in, that's important. If when you do go into your triangle and you find that your knee is cranky, you're probably locked. Your knee is probably locked. So give it a, just a little bit of a little bit of a rest. Don't bend it, but just release it a little bit. Shoulders, shoulder problems, like I said, it's perfectly legal and fine to leave your hands on your hips. As far as props go, some people like to do this against a wall when they are first starting out doing triangle because a wall will not let you cheat so that you can go back and forth and feel feel your stay, your, yourself staying in that neutral spine because you don't want the collapsing to occur. And that will keep you from collapsing. Also, people like to practice this and imagine that they are between two panes of glasses.
because that also will not allow you to um, collapse or get out or, or compromise your alignments. Blocks are very, very useful to bring your hands down to. And they're, they're very legal. It's not cheating, it's just bringing the earth up to you. And the better you get, the further down you will go. Never grab your knees, never. If you can't go below your knees, stay above your knees. That's fine as well. It's uh, really nice to be important, but it's much more important to be nice. Namaste, my friends. See you next time.